Hello students, uh, I am Moksh Goel from Indus Academics. So I will be discussing, I uh, will be giving you a brief analysis of the maths paper that held yesterday for NDA 2017 paper 2. So if I talk about algebra first, uh, algebra was a clear winner. See, uh, if you, in, in algebra, uh, the, the, the three tropics that were there was matrices determinants, quadratic and sequence series. There were approximately 23 questions from these three topics and barring two to three questions, all of the questions were easily solvable in a time period of 60 seconds to 75 seconds. So a student who has focused a lot of, invested a lot of time in algebra, he must have, you know, been very happy to solve this question because the question was really quite easy to solve. And if I talk about the other topics from algebra like P and C, binomial, quad, uh, complex numbers, logs, bi uh, binary numbers, there were a total of 9 to 10 questions from all, the three, all of these topics and around 5 to 6 were easily solvable. There were 3 4 30 questions which were a bit hard to, they were not, it's not that they were not solvable, but it, it required some time to solve those questions. So next if I talk about trigonometry, trigonometry had approximately 12 questions from it and uh, I would say barring inverse trigonometry and a couple of questions from trigonometric identities, the entire trigonometry uh, portion was a bit tough on a tougher side as compared to algebra side. So questions required a lot of time to solve them. There were a lot of questions where you need to check each and every option whether it was correct or not. So I would say a student, if, if, he, had, if he had stuck on the trigonometry portion, he must have wasted a lot of time in solving the question which, which was supposed to be left in the examination. So, and next if I talk about coordinate geometry, 3D and vectors, it had a healthy uh, weightage in the entire exam. There were approximately 21 questions from 2D, 3D and uh, coordinate geometry and the questions were not that tough. If, if I take, tell you uh, a couple of questions from vectors and 3D, the entire paper from this uh, 2D, 3D and 2D vectors and uh, 2D, 3D and uh, vectors chapter, the paper was easily solvable. There were a, a bit of questions which were a bit calculation intensive, that like, means the questions were based, uh, directly formula based but there was a lot of calculation involved. So if a student was good in calculations, he must have easily solved this portion of the uh, exam. Now next thing which I observed is, there was a, li a little bit of trend reversal in the calculus part. So first if I talk about differential calculus, it had a huge weightage in the entire exam. There were approximately 25 questions from differential calculus and it was the toughest portion that I would say. The questions which were from uh, application of derivatives, continuity and differentiability, the questions were really very tough to solve. And I have seen that there were 4 to 5 questions that were from previous year IIT exams. So, so we can realize that what was the level of differential calculus of questions in this exam. And uh, so the students, and if I talk about integral calculus as compared to differential, normally we have seen that in, in an ND exam we get around 20 to 23 questions from integral calculus. But in this year there were only 12 questions from integral calculus. And differential equation has a maximum weightage that has Four questions. And out of those four questions, three were easily solvable. Area under the curves, which is considered to be an easy topic in integral calculus, it had only one question, and the question was very easy to solve. If I talk about indefinite integration and definite integration, the questions were from were average to solve. They were not very easy. They were not very tough. So if a student had his concepts clear, if a students know how to, you know, what are the properties of definite integration, he must have solved the questions. But it must have taken some time to solve those questions. They were not directly property based, right? And one major thing. The two major important topics, probability and statistics, it had a huge weightage. There were 23 questions from combined from these two topics, probability and statistics. And questions from probability, barring just two or three questions from probability, the entire questions, all the question sets from probability were very easy to solve. They were directly, there was no trick in the questions. There were just a couple of questions which were property based in by probability. So if a student does not remember the properties of you know union or intersection or complement, then those were the problems which were difficult to solve. Otherwise the entire topic, entire question sets of probability was very easy to solve. And if I talk about statistics, stat questions from statistics were only directly formula based and properties of standard deviation, co covariance and correlation based. So if a student by heart remembered all the formulae and by heart remembered what, what are the properties of standard deviation, what are the properties of variance, what are the properties of co uh, coefficient of uh, correlation, what are the properties of regression and uh, correlation. So if a student remember all these things, so entire 7-8 questions that were from this topic statistics, they were easily solvable. So to summarize the entire thing, I would say algebra, 2D, 3D geometry and probability statistics were the match winner for any students who have 
you know, uh, prepared for these topics well. And if there was a student who has focused much on, who have relied much on calculus, he must have felt a lot of heat to solve these questions. So I will be uploading the solution set of this entire set A exam very soon. So stay tuned to Indus Academy's chapter. Thank you so much.